In tonight's video, I wanna talk about the LG C2 and one issue for me that has sort of, I don't wanna say plagued me, that's a bit strong, but has from time to time reared its ugly head. And that is VRR flicker. And it's just that, when you're using variable refresh rate on your LG OLED, specifically this happened with me with the LG C10 in 2020, it happened with the LG C1 in 2021, when you are playing a game or using any application that might be GPU intensive and you are engaging variable refresh rate, that is when flicker would rear its ugly head. You would see the screen sort of pulse or flicker and it was especially noticeable in somewhat dark games. If you're playing horror games like Resident Evil, whether you're using G-Sync or FreeSync or HDMI Forum, you would see this flicker, you would see this pulse and it could be very distracting. It really could be. Now, LG tried to somewhat address this issue in 2021 with the LG C1. They released a new setting called Fine Tune Dark Areas. Now, LG would allow you to kind of play with those fine tuned dark areas. You could diminish the brightness of your set a little bit, or you could brighten it up a little bit depending on the game, with the idea being that if you're experiencing a certain level of flicker in one game, perhaps you could decrease that brightness a little bit to try to mask and hide that flicker. And while fine-tuned dark areas does seem to work somewhat in some applications, it wasn't a be-all, end-all. It did not completely address the issue. It was sort of like putting a band-aid on a pretty large wound, right? That's how I kind of saw it. So again, what I thought I would do tonight is I would bring up an application and I'm sure many of you have heard about it, it's DaVinci Resolve. It's a video editing software suite. Now, when I'm using DaVinci Resolve, it can be a pretty GPU intensive program, especially if you are rendering or working with 4K video content. And even if I'm just moving my mouse around rapidly within the program, that can elicit or generate some frame rate spikes. So I thought maybe tonight we'll do a demo, we'll get the C2 up and running, we'll get DaVinci Resolve up and running, We'll move the camera in nice and tight. We'll turn all the lights off so that there's no ambient lighting that's affecting what you're seeing on the screen. And we'll determine once and for all for 2022, did LG address the VRR flicker issue or not? Now, before we do that demo, that short demo, because it will be quick, I think you'll get your answer pretty quickly. I want to give you a pretty technical uh, explanation of what's happening within your OLED panel when VRR flicker is occurring. So what we can do is we can go over to the website OLED slash A.org. It's the OLED Association. Now LG's 48 inch OLED attracting game monitor buyers. Okay, now this article is about a year old and it does pertain to the C10 and the C1. But as you'll see, it also pertains to the C2. Now you can see right here, this is the explanation, technically speaking, of what's going on. Gamma for OLED is optimized and fixed for 120 Hertz by establishing a fixed charging time for OLED sub pixels. VRR is used when the frame rate is less than 120 Hertz. When the OLED TV uses frame rates less than 120 Hertz, the gamma curve is inconsistent with the frame rate. For example, a 40 Hertz frame rate is longer than a 120 Hertz frame rate. Therefore, the lower frame rates result in subpixels that are overcharged, causing flickering of dark gray images, which is noticeable for dark images rather than bright ones because human eyes are more sensitive to low gray colors. LGD or LG display will likely solve this problem establishing multiple gamma curves optimized for lower frame rate content. So with a better technical understanding of what exactly is going on on your OLED screen when VRR flicker occurs, let's bring up DaVinci Resolve on my 42 inch LG C2 and let's see if it's still prone to VRR flicker. Let's do it. So we have DaVinci Resolve open on my PC and you can see how the interface is pretty dark. It's a dark gray. So any any flicker is going to be pretty apparent in this program. You see here I'm in Game Optimizer and if you bring up the dashboard you can see that I have VRR engaged. 
So all I have to do to induce some really extreme variable refresh rates is bring my pointer up here to my media that I've imported and just kind of go over it with my mouse, watch. And do you see the flicker? There it is. Look at the frame rates, 84, 40, 119. They just go 49, 119, 40. They just jump all over 56. They jump all over the place and as they are doing so, you can see the flickering and the pulsing. So regrettably, the variable refresh rate flicker that people were getting on the C10 and C1, it is still clearly apparent on the C2. LG display or LG electronics for that matter, they clearly have not fixed this issue and it continues to persist into 2022 OLEDs. And many people have theorized on AVS forums and other websites that the issue probably is not going to be fixed with LG Display's current panel technology. With the current Alpha 9 chipset, it's just most likely not going to be fixed. There will be no, most likely, software solution to generate multiple gamma curves at variable refresh rates to fix this flicker issue. So until we have some sort of new panel tech, until we have maybe an Alpha 10 processor, uh, an entirely new processor that can handle or has built-in dynamic gamma curves for variable refresh rate, we are going to continue to have this variable refresh rate flicker issue. So that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, as usual, leave them down below and I will always get back to you. All right, guys, steady out.